What's up folks, Gabe Montgomery here, 10 Horse Mining YouTube channel, and we're doing some pre-fishing today. Um, we had a pretty significant little cold front push through. It's 50 degrees right now. It's about one o'clock, and yesterday it was 76, almost 80 degrees. So huge temperature change. We had some rain come through last night. This front blew through, we got bluebird skies. Pulse frontal conditions and a lot of wind. The wind's coming in pretty heavy out of the north. Um, like I said, I'm pre-fishing for a tournament this weekend. And I wanted to get out here earlier, but we're going to be building a house. So we had to meet with a contractor this morning. Got out here as soon as I can. And I got a goal today. The, the tournament, the lake I'm fishing on, it's got a slot limit. It's got 14, 18 slot. You can keep two over 18 and three under 14. And we fished a tournament a few weeks ago on the same body water. And... We caught lots of nice quality fish, but we only managed to get one over 18. And we focused on the bigger fish all day, so we only brought in two unders. So my goal today is to go out and try to find an area where I think I can get um, a couple of these bigger bites. We had, actually in that tournament, we had another good bite, so we should have had two overs, but that's not important right now. But I also need to find some areas where I think I can catch some of those smaller under fish. So that's going to be the goal today. I've got about four hours to go out there and root around. I'm going to try to try to cover some water and and pick it apart a little bit. But it's fall time, so you can't stay in one area too long. You got to keep moving and try to figure stuff out. I'd like to get a moving bait bite. I'd like to get a jerk bait bite, maybe a chatter bait bite, swim jig. Got an underspin. Always got a swim jig on, and a football head. And then you're going to need something to pitch in the grass. Uh, and I'll, I'll be throwing a crankbait a little bit too. This lake has got a lot of grass in it. So um, the, the crankbait fishing is very limited. There are a few places that you can throw a crankbait as far as a square bill, you know, as far as a shallower crankbait. Out deep, of course, you can throw a crankbait. So I'm going to be doing some scanning, see if I can figure out where these fish are at. Last time I was over here, there were a lot of, a lot of fish out deeper. Um, there was quite a bit of bait out deep. Um, you know, I, I like fishing this grass, and I know if I don't find anything today, then I will just resort to punching and throwing a frog in the grass. And I know enough areas where I should be able to um, come across, should get a chance to catch in a couple decent fish. Don't know if I'll get them in the boat or not, but I should be able to get a few good bites. So I've always got that to fall back on, and I will I will do a little bit of sampling of that. I will definitely pitch up, pick up the punch rod throw a frog a little bit just to see if I can get a few bites. I don't want to hook them, but I just want to see them. I just want to kind of see what kind of quality fish are in some of the areas. Um, and, you know, it changes fast. Some of the areas that were holding fish are no longer holding fish, and then there's new areas that will be holding some fish. So we're going to get out there, see what happens. Got about four hours to figure something out. And um, I'll kind of try to give you a few updates on the water. Let me let you know what I think is working. And um, this is just kind of how I'm going to approach this little tournament, trying to go out here and do some scouting, do a little bit of pre-fishing, and try to put it all together in a short period of time. So let's get out there. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do hit that little subscribe button, hit the bell notification, that way anytime I'm dropping content, you will know and share it. Anybody that likes uh, fishing in Southern Illinois, Southeast Missouri area, share it to them. That way they can get out here and have an idea of what's going on or what's not going on. One of those neat things you see out here on the water. I, I don't want to push that deer. I, I mean, 
part of me wants to get up close to it because it'd be good footage, but um, I don't want to make it drown. It was trying to get on that point. I kind of actually pushed it off that point, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move away from it. But pretty cool, man. Deer deer swim around a lot. Bobcats. I've seen bob. I mean, I've seen pictures of bobcats swimming across this lake. And over on Kincaid, I've had several. I, actually, I saw like a 10 point buck swimming across the water one day. It was kind of cool. That, that deer is just. Swimming back, maybe it thinks I'm gonna hunt it. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, it's pretty cool, cool stuff. All right, it's kind of tough out here. Um, I'm out here on a main lake bank. Um, it's got some little secondary underwater points and then some flats on it with grass on it. So I went down this bank already with the DT-10. It's bluegill pattern. And I also went down it again with a spinner bait. Um, this sucker right here, this little uh, screaming eagle. So now I'm, uh, I'm gonna go down it again. I know there's fish in here. I'm gonna go down it again with the chatter bait. And then I'm gonna work my way back into the creek, but no bite. I've got one bite punching uh, through a frog, punch rig, uh, swim jig. I tried several different things. I haven't drug anything on the bottom yet. I'm going to probably when I get out of this wind. It's too windy out here to really drag too much slowly. So just kind of bouncing around trying to figure something out, and uh, I'm gonna see what happens. See right here, you got a creek channel coming in. It's got some little bitty balls of bait out here. Keep on moving. Okay, still moving around. Um, picked up a toe just for a little bit and I had one push it. And I'm just kind of working my way back into this creek arm. I've only got about two hours left. Have not actually hooked up with a fish. I'm just kind of eliminating some stuff. And I'm going to go try another main lake bank with some wind blowing on it throw that chatterbait down it and uh see if i can get bit right now things don't change i'm gonna be fishing in the grass i'm just gonna pick up that punch rod and a frog and a toad and then maybe have <clears throat> a jig tied on and something texas rig to fish the outside of that grass but we are still looking all right found some deep fish haven't thrown on them yet i'm gonna put the troll motor down see if i can catch one of these fish it's tough out here. There he is. There he is. Right. There's an under. Unders. There's some big fish right here. Just uh, it's getting them to bite. Let's slow roll that underspin. It's a little Cumberland Pro underspin. I'll show it to you if I can get all this fish in the mouth. It's a new head design they came out with. It's pretty sweet. It should have them on Tackle Warehouse. Nothing big, but that's kind of what I'm looking for this size fish. the biggest fish but this is fun that was another one on that underspin he tapped it once there's some big fish down there there's some big fish down there these are really sweet underspins so I found an area that's holding some small fish some unders and I think 
if I do a little punching and a little frogging, probably run across a bigger fish. But there's big fish, definitely big fish out on the bank. I haven't thrown a jerk bait. I'm getting ready to tie a jerk bait on, see if I can get one of those bigger fish to react. So, kind of putting one piece of the puzzle together. And it is tough as nails out here. Pulse form conditions, it's just dead. It's just got that dead feeling. And these fish are just, they're not one to eat. I've got to slow roll this sucker right to their face and they'll just kind of slap at it and every once in a while they'll suck one in. There we go. Jerkbait fish. There you go guys, a little jerkbait fish. Just, uh, it's three unders and two overs in a way that I can't fish in the tournament. But that let me know that these fish were actually what I was thinking they are. So those are three nice unders. So I got options, underspin, jerkbait, punching and frog so oh <laughs> this is fun that was a good bite that was a good bite There we go. Oh, they're schooling, guys. They're schooling. We found them. Another underspin fish. Look at that. That is a big wad of madness. I'm sitting out here in like 20 feet of water. That ball of shad's 15 feet thick. See when we drop off of it. I'm gonna swing out here and throw on these things. There's a bunch of fish underneath it too. <laughs> that is this big old ball of shad. Some big ones down here too. There he is. A better fish there. That's a lot better fish. There we go. That helped the cause. Nice solid fish on that underspin. It just kind of started schooling right here. Beautiful fish. <laughs> awesome. So Cumberland Pro understand is getting it done. Nice. That's awesome. Another one. Beautiful fish. I need to change my swim bait. Here we go, guys. These are really nice underspins. You can get them on Tackle Warehouse. It's the Cumberland Pro, new Cumberland Pro underspin. He redesigned the head. And man, that blade just, it's got sample swivel on it, really sharp gaming hook. That blade just turns. I mean, you can reel it super slow and it's turning. It's nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
figured out for sure. Figured out a way to catch fish. Hey, thanks for coming along. This is fun. Really, really slow, but it got really good right here at dark. Till next time. Subscribe. <laughs>